Everybody was seeking after the CBR 300 R2 at long last make its introduction in India after the CBR 250 R at long last must be eliminated a year ago, as it was not BS4 consistent. Be that as it may, it was not intended to be. Rather, Honda uncovered a refreshed rendition of the CBR 250 R with a BS4 agreeable motor and a similar power figures as the more seasoned model, the LED front light and new shading plans. Other than this, the bike stays unaltered since its Indian presentation, in 2011. This welcomes a conspicuous inquiry, is this minor refresh sufficient to set it up against its much fresher opponents? For this detail examination, we took an assortment of bicycles that match the CBR as far as cost and execution, and also outline and reason. This rundown incorporates the Bajaj Dominer 400, Bennett ETNT 25, Apache RR310 and KTM's Duke 250. Indeed, the completely fair Darcy 390 would have been a more proper adversary, however with a sticker price of Rs 2.35 lakh, X showroom, Delhi, it is significantly more costly than the CBR 250R. Where do they have a place? Honda's CBR 250R is a games tourer with the capacity to deal with the infrequent track day. It was one of the principal moderate quarter liter games bicycles in India and this has made it entrenched. Regarding riding position, the CBR 250R is like the RR310, both aren't hard and fast super sports, despite the fact that their styling may recommend something else. The Honda has the most amicable seat stature and its riding position is neither forceful, nor does it feel cramped which would urge you to ride over long separations. The Dominer, then again, is a bare power cruiser, a downsized Ducati Diavel season, maybe. The riding position positions among the best we've encountered on any Bajaj, so far, a light inclined toward the level bars granting a pleasant energetic feel, additionally complemented by very much situated footstools. This places the Dominer 400 out of a decent spot and makes it more agreeable than its KTM road-going stablemates that have a more forceful riding position. The Dominer is a power cruiser that has a place on open streets yet will likewise deal with city activity, easily. The seating stance on the TNT25 is to a great extent upright, with little weight achieving the rider's wrists. Similarly, the foot pegs are situated to help your knees in an agreeable edge. The Bennett ETNT25 is an exposed bicycle like the KTM Duke 250 however does not have the lively execution or taking care of that accompanies it. The Bennett merits taking a gander at, if execution isn't a major need. With its high tail and sharp fairing, the RR310 highlights a forceful super sport like outline. Be that as it may, the cruiser isn't a hard and fast super sport, particularly as far as riding position. It has a raised handlebar and sensibly raised set foot pegs, which should make it agreeable in the city, too. The RR310 has adequate room on offer and this is of as much help with being agreeable on the fast journey as it is while you try different things with expanding degrees of lean points. The low seat tallness likewise helps and should keep most riders agreeable. The RR310 is upbeat on long, open throughways however will likewise deal with turning streets with merriment. The KTM 250 Duke is a full-scale Bear Games bicycle. Its undercarriage gives it amazing dynamic capacity, making cornering relatively natural. The wheelbase has been abbreviated when contrasted with that of the 200, which makes the 250 extremely flickable. Altering course is simple, whether it is on consecutive corners or while advancing through slithering activity. Its seat stature is very tall, however, and may not be to the preferring of all riders. How cutting edge would they say they are? For 2018, Honda gave the CBR 250R a BS4 consistent motor and a LED front light. Alternate cruisers to include a LED front lamp on this rundown are the RR310 and Dominer 400. Like the more seasoned model, the 2018 250R can be optioned with a BS dash which is absent on both, the TNT25 and the Duke 250. Be that as it may. The Digi Simple Instrument Bunch the bicycle is outfitted with looks very dated. The Dominer is furnished with a capable LED fog light, a completely advanced instrument group that shows an assortment of data and discretionary ABS. The Dominer additionally gets a shoe grasp that isn't seen on some other bike on this rundown. Suspension obligations are done by a traditional front fork and a back monoshock. The Bennett ETNT25 isn't prepared, beside the way that it rides on a topsy-turvy fork, in advance. Other than this, 
the bicycle gets a diggy simple measure that looks somewhat dated for 2018. The bicycle includes a pedal type plate brake in advance however ABS isn't on offer. TVS has prepared the completely advanced instrument bunch on the RR310 to show normal speed, 0 to 60 km per hour timings and a lap clock mode that can be flipped moving, by squeezing the front light pass switch. It likewise has portion first highlights like an American motor temperature check and highlights a very exact fuel measure. The bike likewise includes a topsy-turvy front fork and all LED lighting. The Apache RR310 is the main bicycle here that has double channel ABS as standard. The KTM 250 Duke sits in the middle of the 200 Duke and 390 Duke in the maker's lineup. This implies it passes up a major opportunity for a great deal of highlights seen on the 390 Duke like the full shading showcase and LED headlamp. In any case, the 250 Duke gets a topsy-turvy front fork and a completely computerized instrument bunch, as observed on the past-gen Duke. The 250 Duke additionally passes up a great opportunity for ABS, which is a major letdown. Would it be a good idea for you to be occupied with the 2018 Honda CBR250R? The freshest refresh to the 250R has revived it a reasonable piece, yet let be honest, it doesn't measure up to the execution and highlights being offered on the greater part of its adversaries, beside the Beno E, which doesn't generally emerge in any region. The Bajaj Dominer 400 isn't done and also the Honda however makes for uncommon incentive for the execution on offer. Then, the Duke 250 is an enticing suggestion, with more power than the Honda, while staying more usable and far less hyper than its senior sibling, the 390 Duke. Be that as it may, the absence of ABS on the KTM absolutely is a mood killer. That conveys us to the much more up-to-date TVS Apache RR310. On paper, the RR310 offers everything the 250R does and significantly more, particularly in the execution office. The additional RS12000 is extremely supported for what the TVS brings to the table. Be that as it may, the Honda will keep on offering a sweet blend of unstressed execution, great riding flow, solace and convenience. These are the very things that initially emerged about the CBR, each one of those years prior, and in that sense, it will keep on appealing to those with a comparative mentality. For the rest, you just need to acknowledge that the TVS seems to be the more attractive machine.